Hey guys, here's a new Unity tutorial in which I show you how I implemented the first prototype for a node-based editor window. In the previous part I wrote a C-sharp script to bring up an editor window for the conversation database asset that contains the actors and a list of conversations. When I add a conversation now, a start node is created by default. I have to add the update logic for the editor and then I give this conversation a name and reopen the editor and here you can see the start node that each conversation will have. Currently it is just a box with a text, but you can already drag it with the mouse and change the position and you can right click in the editor and then a context menu will pop up with an option to add a new conversation item. The next step will be to add connections for these items. Ok, so let's see how this current prototype version is implemented. You already know the conversation editor window from the previous part. When I open it by double clicking the database asset, I assign the first conversation in the database to the member M conversation, so this will be the conversation that is displayed in the editor. In the onGUI method, which is called when the UI is created, I added three methods. Handle events for handling keyboard and mouse events, paint nodes, which will paint the nodes, and paint edges to paint the connections between the nodes, which is not implemented yet. So let's have a look at handle events. First I go through the nodes and check if there are events which should be handled by the nodes. For example, if there's a track event to track the nodes, or a context menu for the node, something like that. I will come back to this in a moment. After that I check if there's a right click in the editor window and open a context menu. In this method, open context menu, I create a new generic menu and add a menu item here for creating a new conversation item. The callback will be on add node. The parameter is the mouse position. And in this callback method on add node, I add a new conversation node at the position of the mouse cursor and then I add this new node to the M conversation nodes collection. The suffix of the text is the count of this collection. After that, I show the menu as context menu. Ok, let's go back to the handle events for the nodes to see how to drag a node with the mouse. This is simpler as I thought, you just have to prove if the event type is mouse drag and if this is the case, you have to check if the mouse position is inside of the node's rectangle. And if this is true, you just add the delta of the mouse position to the position of the node. Very simple. Ok, what else can we show? This is the conversation node and it has a rect. This rect is the box that we are painting and a text is painted inside of the box. Painting the nodes is done of course in the method paint nodes, in which I loop over all the nodes of the conversation and for each node I call the method paint. The implementation of the paint method is very simple currently, it is just creating a box with the text. Later on I will improve this to have a fancy UI, but this is just for testing. Alright, that's basically it. Paint edges is not implemented yet and the repaint logic has to be optimized so that it is only called if we made any changes to the UI. As you can see here, the conversation items are serialized, I can remove them in the inspector and the UI is updated in the editor. In the next part I will show how to add the connections between the nodes, these will be directed connections and I will improve this step by step to finally have a real dialogue and conversation editor. So if you like this guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, stay tuned and if you want to support this channel and the development of my assets, please think about being my patron. Thanks for watching and see you soon.